they come into the church because they have a problem. People that go into the emergency room, they go into the emergency room because they have a problem. They're hurting and they need some assistance. So they go to the hospital and they go at all kinds of hours and nights and somebody is there to see about their need. And it's the same way about the church. Nobody very seldom comes into church unless they can see that they got a need. If they don't see that they got a need, they won't come into the church. Some come in because they're suicidal. Some come in because, because uh, everything has gone, as they, as they say in the world, haywire. Everything is upside down. Hallelujah. Come on, give God a praise of it because that's the reason we come into the church. Because we realize that we need some help. Hallelujah. And somebody told us that Jesus is the best thing that ever happened to me. Somebody began to tell you a testimony about one day I was walking in a, in, in, in a, in a what is it? World of sin. So what? No rest for my weary soul. Then I met this man named Jesus Christ and he what? And he and all my birds he rode. What's the rest of it? See, I'm, I'm testing. See that? <laughs> and all my burdens he rolled. So somebody, whether it was your friend or just an acquaintance, somebody told you something about Jesus. And it caused the antenna, the spiritual antenna on your head, hallelujah, to, to rise up and to listen to what they had to say. And you say, well, maybe there is hope for me. And so then we come into the church expecting to receive something, hallelujah, to help us out and to get us through the night. Come on, give God a praise up in here. And John, Jesus tells John, I want you to write. See, there's help for you. I don't care how messed up you are. I don't care what the doctor said. I don't care if they say you've got three months to live and you're going to die. Everybody died with this. There ain't no hope. We have no we have no cure for what you're going through. There's still hope for you. Amen. Come on, give God a praise up in here. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Hallelujah. But just call on Jesus and he will answer prayer. Hallelujah. I'm here today to let somebody know. Hallelujah. This is not the end, but this is definitely the beginning. Come on, give God a praise up in here. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I see somebody struggling and made their way on in here this morning. Hallelujah. To hear a word from the Lord. Come on, give God a praise up in here. And he began, hallelujah, to tell you what he saw. He said, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. Hallelujah. What thou seest, I want you, I want you to write in a book and send it unto the seven churches, which are in Asia. Hallelujah. Unto Ephesus, unto Samaria. Hallelujah. Paragamos and uh, Tyre Hallelujah. Sardis and to Philadelphia and to Laodicea. And John said, I turned, hallelujah, to see the voice that spake with me. And being turned, he said, I saw seven, hallelujah, golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to his feet, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were like white, like gold, like wool. Hallelujah, white as snow, and his eyes were a flame of fire, and his feet like a fine brass, and it would be burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters, and he had in his hand, in his right hand, seven stars, and out of his mouth with a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was as the sun shining in, the, in his strength. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And I have the keys of hell. Hallelujah. End of death. Right things which thou hast seen and the things which are which are 
and the things which shall be at their hereafter. The mystery of the seven stars. I want you to listen to what I'm saying right here because it's going to be the background of what I'm going to preach today. The mystery of the seven stars which thou saw in my right hand. Hallelujah. The seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars are the angels of the churches. And the seven candlesticks which thou saw are the seven churches. Hallelujah. Come on, give God a praise up in here. So I want you to understand that when God was talking to John, he is saying that who I'm going to address this to, I want you to write it, hallelujah, to the pastors of the church. Come on, give God a praise up in here. I don't want you to address, hallelujah, the members. I don't want you to say nothing to none of them. Hallelujah, but I want you to address the head of the church. And it's up to the head of the church, hallelujah, to address, hallelujah, the people in the congregation. Come on, give Yeah. 
Come on, give God a praise over here. Jesus said, I know thy works. Unless thou repent, I'll take the candlestick away from you. Except thou repent. Come on, give God. He said, Behold, I come quickly. And my reward is with me to give every man according what he deserves. Come on, give God a praise of an end. Behold, I come quickly. You don't know the day or the hour. Come on, give God a praise of an end. You may think you got it all going on, but Jesus said, the moment that you think not, he said in a moment in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, he said, behold, I come quickly. Just
I know thy works. No matter what's going on, man, you can't hide from God. Man, hallelujah. You can't hide. Hallelujah. Nothing from him. Man, and he won't accept just anything. Man, come on. You've got to praise him in here. Right? Hallelujah. Cain and Abel. Man, hallelujah. The two men. Man, the first two men. Man, hallelujah. That was born of a woman. Man, come on. The scene. Man, hallelujah. Abel came out with a perfect sacrifice. Man, and God was pleased. Man, but with a sacrifice and God was not pleased eh? and it lets you know that you can't do anything eh? that you want to do you can't bring God any old kind of thing eh? and expect him to be satisfied with you eh? you got to do it the way God tells you to do it eh? he sees and he hears eh? and he's written it down in his word eh? come on you've got to praise up in eh? him he's a God of order eh? he tells you in his word eh? just exactly what he expects eh? how did you come on you've got to praise up in here eh? you know it's got so complicated now eh? how they do that when we go to school eh? they're telling the children eh? how they want them to dress eh? they're telling them how they want them to look eh? but they're telling the teachers eh? exactly how they want them to look eh? and how they want them to dress eh? come on you've got to praise up in here because the teachers are just as his fault. Hallelujah, as the pupils. You can see some of those teachers. I walked through the high school. Come on, you've got to praise up in here. You don't know where you at. Hallelujah, they got on clothes so tight that you think they're trying to be some kind of model up in there. And I'm looking at them and I'm saying, man, no wonder the teachers are getting the, the, the pupils can't learn nothing right? because the teachers are just as messed up as the pupils right? come on you've got to praise up in here right? I walked through the school right? hallelujah right? here they were right? hallelujah belly showing right? come on you've got to praise up in here right? hallelujah flip flops on right? hallelujah pants hanging down to here right? can't hardly walk right? gotta walk stiff back like this uh, to keep the pants up uh, built down around the knees uh, but I'm glad that they come out uh, and said uh, there was something about uh, a dress code uh, I know the kids uh, how did they, they don't like it uh, but just time out uh, how did you look at any old kind of way uh, come on you've got to praise up in here uh, and Jesus said uh, to, the, to, the, to the church uh, to the angel of the church to say of oh, oh, Leo to see he said, I know thy works. Come on, you've got to praise up in here. And if you're outdoors, and we're going to be out there this afternoon, hallelujah, he said, whether, whether you're hot or whether you're cold, he said, I'd rather that you be hot or cold because neither because you need neither one. He said, I'm going to spew you out of my mouth. Come on, you've got to praise up in here. It's called rebellion. Jesus said, hey, if you're going to bring me something when it's hot outdoors, I, I want it to be cold. Hey, come on, you've got to praise up in here. Hey, don't bring me no warm Coca-Cola. Hey, hallelujah, don't bring it to me. Hey, hallelujah, because I don't want it hey, when I'm hot. Hey, hallelujah, don't bring me no cup. Hey, a cold coffee, some folks like iced coffee, hey, but I Vegetables. There wasn't nothing wrong with the vegetables. 
what it required. Come on, give God a praise over there. But he chose to tip God. He chose to bring him whatever he thought he wanted to. And when God didn't accept it, hallelujah, he rejected his sacrifice. Come on, give God a praise over there. He said, because you neither hot nor cold. Come on, give God a praise over here. He said, I'm going to spew you out of my mouth. Hallelujah. Don't want it. Hallelujah. Don't bring me. Hallelujah. Just any old kind of thing. Hallelujah. You be out there today, outdoors in the heat. How do you expect a glass with some ice in it? Something that'll cool you down. And somebody brings you something. Hallelujah. Let's just say Coca-Cola. I can't think of nothing no nastier than a, co than a hot Coke. And they bring it to you. And you put it up to your mouth. You're not going to consume it. You're going to look at them like you have done lost your mind. Amen. What happened to the ice? Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Ain't that right? Uh -huh. Hallelujah. And they're going to try to tell you, go, go ahead and drink it. It's all right. And you're going to say, not so. Hallelujah. And that's the way we are sometimes. We want to do what we want to do. We want to present our bodies to God any old kind of way. Hallelujah. All messed up. Lord have mercy. I ain't going down that road, but you know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. I was in a church in Cleveland. Lord have mercy. Young girl came in. Walked all the way almost to the front in some short shorts. Belly short. Red hair. And I'm like, how is that going to get all the way to the front of the church? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God ain't going to accept just any old thing. Hallelujah. He said, bring all of the tithes into the storehouse. Not just some of them. He said, so that there might be meat in my house. You know what happened to in about the fifth chapter of Acts, Ananias and Sapphira. They was liars, husband and wife. And both of them fell dead. Hallelujah for lying to the Holy Ghost. Come on, give God a praise.